वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रेजरी बिल्स और टी बिल्स इन शॉर्ट यू कैन से इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अबाउट वट इज मनी मार्केट हु कंट्रोल द मनी मार्केट एंड हाउ आर बी आई यूज मनी मार्केट टू कंट्रोल इनफ्लेशन एंड रिसेशन एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट financial products like treasury bills or all other products but this is means this session basically dedicated to the treasury bills only so we'll discuss that what is treasury bills or how t bills works or types of t bills we'll decode everything so let's pay attention here if i talk about t bill t bill it means as i said it's a treasury bill so i uh, treasury bills treasury bills all right so if i now say about t bills t bills are like zero coupon securities and pay no interest instead they are issued at a discount and redeem at the face value at a maturity what it means for example let's say government want to or rbi want to issue t bills the price of t bills is let's say 90 and face value At the maturity is let's say hundred, so it means at the time of buy you just need to uh, pay ninety rupees to the government, and at the time of maturity government will pay hundred rupees back to you. So in this transaction your profit would be ten. So this is how you can make money by investing in T bills. So most of the you know pension funds, hedge funds, private equity funds. Uh, even retail investors they invest in t bills for a liquid investment strategy liquid it means you can quickly convert your uh, you know investment into cash within a 91 days or 182 days or maybe 364 days if you have any short term investment goals and if you are looking for a secured return then t bill is comes under one of the highly secured investment category now your question would be like so why this comes under Highly secured investment category. The answer is, see, this T who issue T bills, government issue T bills, and when government issue T bills, it means government take the hundred percent assurity of your investments, return of investment, or return on investments along with your capital, and that's why this in instruments become less risky if you compare with equity bonds, debentures, derivatives, and all other financial instruments. The T bill asset class is highly secured. and liquid asset class and if you are looking for a diversification into highly liquid class you can take this uh, as a, you know one of the highly secured investment instruments and invest your funds accordingly so let's discuss about t bills who announced t bills how t bills works so let me just decode about t and bills t means treasury treasury it means fund it's government fund i would say a government cash management system so who manage the government cash of course rbi manage the government cash so when we say cash it means primarily there would be three functions one is a deposited amount another one is a disbursed amount to the different government projects and uh, the again most important aspect that you would see fund which is already parked or kept in the different accounts of government so basically rbi take the control and monitor that fund or rbi govern that all you know cash management activities or entire country's deposit and disbursement activities or funds which is parked in the different different accounts so t it means treasury so i hope now you got the clear idea about it see when we talk about t bill so again it's important as or treasury if we talk about sometime you would see uh, cash based you know activities and sometime you would see credit based activities so when we say you know issuance of t bills that comes under t bills if government need any you know funding immediate funding then government can issue or government treasury departments will issue the uh, short term you know t bills uh, to the public or maybe institutional investors to raise capital and once they issue that to the you know common public or maybe uh, highly uh, net worth individual institutions or uh, individual investors or uh, maybe institutions they will participate purchase it and government will receive funds all right so basically government will sell the promissory notes all right and now if we talk about bills word see bills word it means it's a promise promise to pay promise to pay which is capital plus whatever benefits which was committed at the time of issuance of t bills that will return to the investor back 
so bills contain that information so it's like a note note it means 10 rupees note 100 rupees note so if you see this portion <coughs> see this is a note 100 rupees note see this note contains means this paper contains the value of 100 rupees what if i'm giving this 100 rupees note to you at 90 and with the promise of look same note that i'll buy it back at 100 of course you would be in profit and anyways this this is a highly liquid paper so you your money is in you know uh, safe investment asset class are you getting my point so same bill it means it's a note note it means here you can say promise promise to pay here if you see the government which is promised already see just read this i promise to pay the bearer the sum of the 100 rupees so same you know paper that you would see when you say bill it means it's a note that we are talking about note that promise to pay the amount so it means this basically paper has a value see i have a two papers if i say this paper see this paper this paper has doesn't value but if i talk about this paper this paper and both the paper are same it's just matter of printing but if i talk about this paper so this paper carries some value value it means 100 rupees value all right so if i if i transfer this paper to anyone that person will receive 100 rupees value against this paper so same paper you can relate t bill it means this is a paper that government issue paper at a discount 100 rupees paper it will be issued at 90 so you need to pay only 90 at the time of investment but at the time of redemption government will uh, redeem or rbi will redeem at a full value so i hope now you got the idea about bill it means what exactly so again how this again question would be like how rbi manage this t bill see government ministries or government let's say departments different departments they send the notice to the rbi to help them to uh, issue that in you know, the t bills in the market because rbi is the bank you know banks of banks and they have a lot of accounts uh, under rbi so it's, it's it would be easy for rbi to launch any you know investment scheme on behalf of government so basically government ministry will send the notification or notice or gr to the rbi with the value propositions and you know all other details and on the basis of that the government uh, see uh, rbi is you know uh, department treasury departments they'll work around it and they'll open t bills scheme under their open market operations and issue that you know uh, bills to the different different uh, platform so that people can buy it and apart from this again question would be like so as a retail investor how can i invest see you can open your treasure your accounts under even rbi as well direct benefit scheme account something that they you know gift account something they allow it you can open and you can invest through if not if you have a demat account still you can open demat account and invest it so if you don't have a demat account or trading account you can reach out to me i'll help you to open your account so that you can start investing in t bills so now let's talk about types of people see we have three types of people so one is 91 days another one is 182 days and the uh, third one is 364 days t bills so basically when government announce this t bills they announce t bills with a 91 days minimum for a 91 days the mid size would be for 182 days and the another last bill would be with type would be which is for a 360 four days yes yeah, an odd make you have because see it's, that's the pattern of issuance of securities all right so this is how they issue the tables in the market max to max duration of the 364 days and minimum duration of the 91 days so government will issue that securities now the another question is so how can we calculate yield for t bills see the process is very simple yield it means income how we can compute income on bills so now let's take the first discuss about formula how that formula works formula says when you compute yields for xyz securities so discounted value discounted value it means whatever value that you have received so that value we are talking about means amount of discount we are talking about then divided by price bond price or t-bill price into 365 days divided by number of days to maturity so let's set the example under 91 days you have purchased certain securities or t bills at the price of 95 but the same securities redemption value it means which is at 100 so difference of 100 minus 95 it would be around 5 
So your net net benefit would be 5 for a 91 days. If I convert that into 91 days in a percentage return to compute the yield, so first take the uh, you know, value 5 means discount price, 5 divided by 100 which is redeem price into 365 days because in a one year you would see three, 365 days. So 365 days divided by 91 days, it's, a, it's just a basic math that we have used here. So 91 days, 91 days why? Because we'll assume it your investment is parked in the account for a 91 days and if you see the benefit 5 divided by 100 it would be around 0 0.05 into 360 divided by 91 it would be around 4 so just multiply it your value would be around 20 percent so that 20 percent would be the yield of your bonds yield of your let's say t-bills so this is how you can compute t-bills for uh, sorry yields for any in a government fixed income securities all right this would be very important from your entire perspective as well so now let's uh, let's talk about why rbi issue t bills see first is rbi uh, work as you know government's bank as well so it means on behalf of governments rbi issue certain bills in the markets and help government to raise funding it can be short term or it can be long term so in same way if i talk about now why rbi issue you know T bills. So first reason that I I I would say like T uh, to re, uh, to <coughs> to raise funding for a short term you know projects. If government has any short term planning, it can be uh, you know any scheme announcement, it can be any you know project announcement, or maybe promotion, marketing, salaries of any you know particular department or anything. It can be anything. So government will comes with T bills. So they issue T bills, raise funding. Then another one is to control supply of money. This function is very important one from inflation or uh, recession perspective. So basically under the monetary policy, monetary policy, government and RBI, both I would say, they will ensure the supply of money in the market. So there should be enough supply in the market. There should maintain enough liquidity in market. There should enough or balanced, uh, you know, uh, fund should available in market. If you see high, yeah, let's say supply of uh, printed notes is available, then it will lead to the inflation. If you see, let's say there is no liquidity in the market, then again you would see uh, price shocks or depression or depletion in market or slowdown in market. So to maintain that balance, RBA always will ensure about RBA always will ensure about the supply of money, which is a very important function. Then another one is if I talk about to control inflations and recession. So as I said, RBI's main policy is to control inflation and recessions on time to time. Because if they don't control it, ultimately it will uh, it will lead to the inflation. Now if you see European countries or US countries that are facing you know inflations, but currently the European country is facing again recession just because of balance of supply means or cash supply in the market i would say there are other activities also but cash you know plays very crucial role if i talk about inflation let's say if you have a huge money then you can pay uh, huge money to the you know other goods and services as well so that will lead to the price appreciation in the market all right so there are a number of other factors so but i don't want to discuss that at the moment all right so we'll cover that in next video so here the another function is another function is to ensure liquidity to ensure liquidity it means always bank will ensure the liquidity in the market and if there is no liquidity so ultimately you would see inflation and recession so these are the prime you know reasons that you would see why rbi issue uh, means t bills in the market then additionally <coughs> if i talk about let's say rbi how it controls all right that securities and all so I'll just quickly walk you through. If RBI sells securities, what happened? Money will go to the uh, RBI account or maybe let's say government. So basically, if RBI want to reduce the supply of money uh, from the market, then RBI will issue, certi uh, issue certificates or issue some you know uh, securities in the market. Why? To remove liquidity from the market. And that's how they'll control the inflation. So it means they'll sell the lots of securities in market and uh, uh, reduce the supply of money from the market and if they buy certain securities so they'll ensure to infuse more cash in the market if they want to let's say infuse more capital then in that case they'll buy that securities so
So once they buy it eventually, buy it back, it means if the government buy the security back, so basically money will out. So government will pay money to us, then you can means you can have enough liquidity in your account. So this is how your T-bills works in the market. From an exam perspective or from an entry perspective, types of T-bills is important, how T-bills work is important, and if we have calculated, that is also important. All right, I'm done with this T-bill session. If you have any question around this, you can post your means, uh, questions or doubts in description. My team or I will take care of it, all your questions. Otherwise, you can provide feedback as well. So now let's try one these question. So if you are interested, tell me how commercial papers, commercial papers works. Papers works. Try to answer this question in comment section. How commercial papers works? Commercial paper that I'm talking about. All right. You can try to answer this question in comment section. Otherwise, the next topic would be commercial paper. So that we'll discuss in detail. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching this. If you like this uh, initiative or video, please do like, comment and share with your friends. All right. And if you're looking for any course as such, then you can quickly check my uh, description you know link which is i have given in description or you can call us we'll provide you in detail information about courses thank you thank you very much